Darius LeVar Miles is a former American professional basketball player. The 6 foot 9 inch, 235 pound forward was selected directly out of high school by the Los Angeles Clippers with the third overall pick in the 2000 NBA draft. He was a first team NBA all rookie in 2001, a first for a prep to pro player. Miles' playing career nearly came to an end when he was released by the Portland Trail Blazers in April 2008 after two years away from the court following microfracture surgery on his right knee. He returned to action during the 2008-09 season as a member of the Memphis Grizzlies. Miles was born in Belleville, Illinois and attended East St. Louis Lincoln High School and East St. Louis Senior High School in East St. Louis, Illinois. Before declaring the end of the 2000 NBA draft, Miles has signed a national letter of intent to play with the St. John's Red Storm men's basketball team alongside fellow top recruit Omar Cook. Mike Jarvis, the head coach for the Red Storm at the time, has stated that Miles' commitment significantly helped obtain Cook and the other incoming freshmen from the recruiting class. Miles entered the 2000 NBA draft and was selected by the Los Angeles Clippers as the third overall pick at the time, the highest the player had been drafted directly from high school. For the next two seasons, Miles, Quentin Richardson, Corey Maggette, Lamar Odom, and Elton Brand entertained fans with their exciting high-flying style of play. He played his first two seasons with the Clippers, earning an NBA All-Rookie Team First Team honor in 2001. In those years, Miles, Richardson, and others helped the Clippers improve their performance from 15 wins in 99-2000 to 31 wins in 2000-2001 to finally 39 wins in 2001-2002. In the 2001-02 season, the Clippers appeared to be on the verge of their first playoff appearance since 1997. However, they were only able to win three of the last 12 games of the season, ultimately finishing five games out of the playoffs. Following the 2001-2002 season, Miles was traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers alongside Harold Jameson in a deal for Andre Miller and Brian Stith, where he spent the season and a half before being traded to the Portland Trail Blazers for Jeff McGinnis and Ruben Boomchi Boomchi midway through the 2003-04 season. During the 04-05 season, Miles made headlines for a confrontation with then-coach Maurice Cheeks, in which Miles reportedly insulted Cheeks with racial slurs and remarked that he did not care if the team were to lose the next 20 games since Cheeks was going to be fired anyway. According to ESPN's Chad Ford and other accounts, after Cheeks asked Miles to leave, Miles' response was, make me. When Cheeks left the room to see Blazers general manager John Nash, Miles ran behind him shouting, that's right, run to your daddy. On April 19, 2005, he scored a career-high 47 points in a loss against the Denver Nuggets, which equaled the eighth-highest single-game output in franchise history. Late in the 2005-2006 season, Miles severely injured his right knee. Five days later, on April 15, 2006, he played in his 40th and last game of the season. He missed the entire 06-07 and 07-08 NBA seasons due to microfracture surgery to repair his injury. In an effort to shed Miles' $18 million contract, the Portland Trailblazers petitioned the NBA and the NBA Players Association in March 2008 to provide an independent doctor to decide whether Miles could play again. The examination determined that Miles' knee injury was severe enough to be career-ending, prompting the Blazers to request waivers for his release on April 14, 2008. However, Miles had the option to sign with another team if offered a contract, potentially reverting the $18 million savings the Blazers hoped to gain if Miles played in 10 games in 2008. Complicating matters was a 10-game suspension for violating the league's substance abuse policy levied by the NBA, which Miles was required to serve before he could play for any NBA team. On August 22, 2008, the Celtics signed Miles to a non-guaranteed contract offering him a chance to earn a roster spot at training camp. Though he worked out twice with the team and impressed with his health and attitude, he was waived on October 20th before the regular season started. On December 13, 2008, Miles signed with the Memphis Grizzlies. After sitting out his 10-game suspension, Miles made his season debut with the team on January 4, 2009, playing the last minute in 46 in a 102-82 win against the Dallas Mavericks. On January 7th, after collecting only two rebounds and two blocks in nine minutes over two games, Miles was waived. On January 9th, following a controversy over his re-signing, the Grizzlies signed Miles to a 10-day contract. The next game, against the Cavaliers on January 14th, Miles played 14 minutes and exhibited some of the quickness and leaping ability he once possessed. He recorded 13 points on 4 of 6 shooting and making 5 of 7 free throws in a 102-87 loss. On January 30th, 2009, the Grizzlies signed Miles for the rest of the 08-09 season. 
On July 9, 2009, the Grizzlies renounced their rights to Miles in order to save cap room. Under NBA rules, if a team is granted salary cap relief for a career-ending injury to a player who thereafter participates in at least 10 games the next season, the salary cap relief is terminated and the amount is added back to the team's salary cap ceiling. On January 8, 2009, after Miles played six preseason games with the Celtics and two before being released from a non-guaranteed contract by the Grizzlies, the Portland Trailblazers threatened to sue any of the other 29 NBA teams that picked up Miles and played him specifically to adversely impact their salary cap and tax positions. In response, the NBA Players Association threatened to file a grievance against the Trailblazers. After a directive from the NBA Commissioner's Office the next day declaring that any team could sign Miles and the league would approve the contract, the Memphis Grizzlies re-signed Miles on January 10, 2009 to a 10-day non-guaranteed contract. Miles then played the two games necessary to trigger re-addition of the $18 million to Portland's cap amount. Miles then re-signed two more 10-day contracts with the Grizzlies before being signed for the rest of the 08-09 season on January 30, 2009. Miles' final NBA game was played on April 13, 2009 in a 110-119 loss to the Phoenix Suns in which he recorded just two points, two rebounds, and an assist in six and a half minutes of playing time. On a side note, in his acting career, Miles had a role in the perfect score as a high school basketball star who needed to achieve a qualifying SAT score to attend St. John's University, closely paralleling his real-life situation coming out of high school. He also appeared in National Lampoon's Van Wilder, along with then-Clipper teammates Michael Olawakandi and Quentin Richardson. He also appeared in a documentary titled The Youngest Guns, which detailed Miles and Richardson's first few years in the NBA.